I'm an old man, nine or four years old, but the things that uh, I'm doing right now is done through our great great grandfather that lived many, many years ago, maybe three, four hundred years ago. And the song that we, I'm going to sing is to the animals. Many, many years ago, our great great grandfather and them lived by the, the animals and to understand the true meaning of what that is. The song is, is made through animals. Caribou song, moose song, bear song, rabbit song. All is connected with the thing that I try to do right now. Our, our way of life depends on how you understand what God gives us. God give us these songs. You look back in the Bible time, many, many years ago, is that Noah built the ark, but the, the animals get right into that ark without anybody tell them to do. And that's the same way what we try to do to understand what these songs mean to the Athabascan culture. So I'm going to sing song, and I hope I don't make mistake. I didn't I didn't put it in there. But this is another another one that I'm gonna put in right now. Two old people were sitting together, a man and a wife. And they were wondering what's going to happen to them after all the people move away. How are they going to get help? No way to get help. Too old. And the caribou hear these two people talking and the song that he chose for them is this. What
Somebody called them. They tell them they want you over there. So they went over there. You know what they were going to tell? That man that was seen in that song, he was not terrible, but he was a human being just like anybody else. And this man told them, that you wouldn't be left, you wouldn't be alone. What, uh, what you're going to get, if you follow the people, God is going to give you what you need all the way. So that's how it happened. These two old people got everything they need. These things is Athabascan culture and the way it's set up is to make sure that everybody try to believe in God the Father Almighty. They don't say that way, but it, it is mentioned with the understanding that everything we say is true to Him. Now, you're not supposed to lie or swear, or anything like that in this song. It's forbidden. Because uh, this is what the people have to live by and to understand it. And... This song is made by a person. He was making an arrow. And when he said that, that arrow, it was so sharp that anything I hit with that arrow, I'm going to get it. And that, that caribou said to that person, he said, I'm not going to feel the arrow you talk about because you brag about it. See, that's the reason why say, don't misinterpret the things that God wants us to understand in Athabascan uh, culture. So this young man didn't catch no caribou with the arrow he, he mentioned. Instead of that, he didn't get nothing. There's a lot of songs he's connected with that. Ho <laughs> 
Got a moose, bull moose, it got a little horn. And one good woman was hauling that head because it got horns. And it catch willows and everything, and she gets mad and disgusted. And she swear. And that cowboy, that moose said that just because you swear. At that moose, you're not going to get any more. It's your fault. You don't take care of it. She seems like that. We, the, we, the way that it's set up is that we have to understand and try to take care of what God gave us and try to be true with what he gave us. So that, that's a moose song. And that... Uh, Horn, he got on his head, caught lots of trouble, and that woman didn't know it, but she swear. That's not the way for the Athabascan culture. So, so you, I wonder if you, you understand that. to them, tell them that you're going to have good luck, but you have to take care of it. So this song was made by caribou. Let the people know that they were going to go all the way with it. That's how people used to live many, many years ago. By these songs, they understand the things that they need to know ahead of time. Because the animals give the message to the people that are going to live by it. And that's a very hard to really understand when you're not an Indian, you don't understand that because nobody never talk about it. And this has been uh, these songs about maybe 500 years old before the white people. Da <laughs> 
sent this young man ahead of the people so he'll come back with a message what he see. Instead of that, he lied. He lied to the people that he didn't see no caribou track, nothing. That man one man got up that night and seen this son. Get that man that went out to hunt caribou. Get him in here. So they brought him over here. He changed his story right there and then. He said, I didn't say that. I say, there's lots of caribou. You see, that's the reason why don't lie. The Athabascan culture hold all these things so that the people will make no mistake about what went wrong in their life. And that's what the, the family is supposed to talk to their kids about things like that so they don't do things wrong, but uh, it's a, uh, it's gone, and you're not going to get it back, because we're the ones that break that ourselves. It's not the kids. It's the grown up that uh, do things wrong like that against the family. You're not supposed to lie. And you're not supposed to try to get the best of the other people. All these things is connected with what we try to do right now. That's been handed down five, six hundred years ago. And nobody never say anything about it till right now. I don't know how far this picture it's going to go, but uh, it's something that we should all understand, that every one of us is entitled to understand the truth, what is there. songs is very special for the young people to understand. You're not supposed to lie, you're not supposed to brag, you're not supposed to try to get the best of the other people. That's the Athabascan culture. And that's what it is. And that's what I live by. 